Hold on a second, please. Uh, Excuse me. Mr. Chairman, Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I bring greetings and wishes for happiness from the government of Bhutan. Information and communication technology has become indispensable for development across the globe. More than ever before, technologies are impacting the day-to-day -day lives of our citizens. Bhutan has given a lot of impetus to ICTs for accelerating its development. As a least developed country, we have a lot of basic challenges to overcome. But we understand that ignoring investments in ICT and STIs will further excavate the divide that already exists. Therefore, Bhutan will invest in ICT as a foundation for gross national happiness and create a society which learns to learn. Keeping this in mind, Bhutan has already made relatively significant investment in ICT. We have rolled out more than 3,600 kilometers of high-speed fiber connections to all our geoks in our efforts to make internet accessible to the most vulnerable citizens. We continue to invest our universal service fund to provide mobile connectivity to remote and sparsely populated communities, and we will soon begin upgrading technologies to provide mobile broadband even in rural communities. Bhutan will soon start working on providing free Wi-Fi hotspots in the rural areas and few population centers in urban areas. We hope that this initiative will help us reduce the digital divide. We have over 200 online and mobile public services that is monitored by the highest levels in government to ensure that the services are delivered on time and we are engineering those services so that they are more citizen-centric through end-to-end -end in integration. The API-driven access to data across agencies will eventually open the pathway for open data, leading Bhutan to ultimately to data democratization. Bhutan continues to invest in, in and benefit from ICTs and STIs. However, it is not without challenges. Cybersecurity is of critical concern with limited resources, limited capabilities in increasingly complex and unsafe cyber world. We are struggling to keep pace with shortening technology refresh periods. This is creating a digital divide, not only among countries, but also within communities as, communities as well. New threats are emerging using platforms that allows scales and speeds unheard of in the past. Lack of domestic capability is a growing concern. And talent attrition having a is having a serious impact, serious impact on sustainability of our technology investment. We believe that the ITU could play a central role in supporting small states like Bhutan, LDCs in particular, landlocked LDCs in meeting the 2030 agenda even beyond what, is, what it is doing now. The ITU should consider developing pragmatic rules and regulations that would help LDCs and landlocked LDCs and developing nations to also benefit from space and space applications for sustainable development. The ITU is further requested to assist these vulnerable countries in addressing the threats of cybersecurity that is crippling our infrastructure and in general help in building capabilities to better leverage ICTs for sustainable development. We have numerous agendas in front of us for the PP18 and we hope to learn as well as contribute to the discussions as necessary. We hope collectively we can reach to consensus decisions which can help all countries benefit from advancement of technology. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the organizers and the United Arab Emirates for being an excellent host and for the wonderful services they have provided to the distinguished delegates and the participants. Cut in and thank you.